file um, I've been asked to do um, a tutorial on Cliff Richard's first hit move it not really sure uh, what you want to know about this about this tune because it's a pretty re pretty repetitive type tune um, but uh, basically it's E A and B seven chords all the way through um, but I suppose the opening riff is quite interesting it's in the key of E major and and what uh, you, you you can get get away with because I mean over the years um, Cliff's original band obviously dispersed after the first record and then then Hank took over and he played it differently from the from the first guy but either way it's still basically the same and what it is is you're going to hold the two first strings um, the, the sorry the first the first and second string the high E and the B at the third fret and if you can hear that sound it's almost you know what's going to happen is going to be move it all you do is play that twice down to the F sharp and the and the, and the C sharp and then both open so the first three moves are then the two F sharps again you're still on the first two strings and two open so third string second string open second string And then it's going to be second and third string, second fret. Do, do it again. That's the that's the third and the second string together at the second fret. Open. Third and fourth string, second fret. So let's do this. Ending up on an E chord. So that's clear again, I'll do it again. And then the bass both bass comes in. Welcome on everybody, let's move it and a groove it. So that's basically the, the, the first opening part. Now after that it's basically a cold rhythm, a, a really sort of like a, a, a raunchy, raunchy type rhythm. And what I'm doing there, I'm dampening, I'm dampening over the bridge with my right hand and playing the bass notes at the same time. So driving rhythm there. And when you go on to the A, you can try and slide up from the first fret to the second, which would give you your, your A. So it's like this. B7. That is basically the the song. Um, there's some fills in between, which I'll show you next. Okay, so what I think is probably easier to do here is um, I'm going to play Cliff's version of it, um, and then I'm going to play the little fills over the top of him or his band or the shadows when they come in and that might give you if it's useful if that's if that's the kind of thing that you want to know um, I'm going to be up at the up at the 12th fret um, doing quite a bit up there and then I'm going to go down to um, probably down 
there towards the the uh, the B when I do the B and the A, but it's basically E E pentatonic really, all based around that. But anyway, let me play the let me play the tune through, and that might be might explain it better as we go through. So here we go. Here comes Cliff now. We already let it, already learnt the intro. Up to A. Back to E. B. A. Time again. Yeah, just uh, you can just <coughs> fiddle around on that last bit till it till it fades out. Anything up on the on the E <coughs> at the twelfth fret. Till it fades away. <coughs> so I hope that helps, but just as like a little recap. When you're up on, if you want to put these bits up here, you're going to be starting on that 12th fret B string, and you're going to do quite a lot of bends here. Next bit is, and a bit after that is. That's almost a, almost a Cliff Gallop riff. That is, that's the thir thir that's the fourteenth and fifteenth uh, frets on the uh, B and E string. You can put any of that kind of stuff in there if you want. If you're going actually going to play the lead over this break over this tune. Um, but as long as you've got that driving rhythm going, you know, you can sort of almost, almost, you know, fill your boots with it, really, because you can do anything. As long as you're in the E, A, and B7, you can, uh, you can put anything you like in there. And it'll be probably be better if you make up your own, your own riffs anyway. But I'll give you a bit of a guide to make a start there. You've got the intro. You've got the intro and that, so hope that helps you, and uh, we'll see you again some other time. Bye-bye for now.